Hello, welcome to Baby Child and Go once again. It's my pleasure to come your way. How are your children doing? We hope they are fine. Today we are going to talk about diapers, and many things about diapers. So how many diapers do your babies typically use? Well, when your babies are newborns, it's advised that you change the diaper every three hours, about as frequently as you feed them. And this is because when the diapers are wet, um, it, makes, it may make the babies cold because the urine that is in the diaper gets cold over time. Also, when you don't change the diapers quickly, because it is moisture that is staying on the baby's skin, maybe there is poo in it or there is wee in it and the moisture is staying on the baby's skin, it can cause some problems to the very delicate skin of your babies. That is why you need to change your diapers very frequently. As they grow up a bit, you don't need to change as much frequently, but then whenever it is wet or soiled, then you need to change the diaper. So sometimes babies get what we call a diaper rash. So you open your baby's diaper and you see that the diaper area has some rashes or begins to look red. Or sometimes when you don't do anything about it, it actually becomes very sore. It can become sore and discharge as if it's a wound. Um, diaper rash is caused by moisture staying on the baby's skin for a long time. That is why, as I've explained already, it's important that you change the diaper very frequently. As soon as it is soiled or wet, you change it. But again, it's important that you prevent the moisture from coming into contact with the baby's skin in the first place. So what do you do? Whenever your baby wheezes or poos and you clean the baby very well, you can clean your baby with water, warm water and uh, soap, or you can clean your baby with a wipe that has some alcohol in it. And when you do the cleaning and then you dry it, that is if you use the water, you dry it. You should put a barrier, something to prevent the moisture from sticking onto the baby's skin when the baby wheezes or poos. So you can use petroleum jelly and apply it very generously over the baby's buttocks and then the, the diaper area so that the next week or the next poo will not actually stay on the baby's skin. Um, so it's a barrier cream. It's something to prevent the wee or the poo from staying on the baby's skin. So aside petroleum jelly, you can also use, there are diaper creams that are made and they are called diaper creams. Most of them contain zinc oxide. You can use that as well. You can use shea butter as well. Anything to prevent the moisture, which is the water, the wetness, or the poo from staying on the baby's skin is okay. Sometimes when the diaper rash um, happens and care is not taken then we have these germs or organisms we call fungi they can also come on top of your diaper rash and then they make it worse for you so when you find that the rash is not going or it's it begins to look different from what it was initially then you need to take your baby to go and see the doctor because then they may need to give your baby some medications to apply on it as well it is not a good practice when you see a diaper rash to use antibiotic creams because these creams are against bacteria and diaper rash is not caused by bacteria so you need to um, take your baby to the doctor so that they give you the appropriate thing. Again, sometimes some babies are sensitive to some brands of diapers. So when you see that um, your diaper is being changed frequently, the moisture is not staying on your baby's skin but the baby's bum or the diaper area continues to be red, it may be a good idea to um, change the brand of your diaper. You need a brand that when the baby wheezes, the diaper doesn't look wet. So the wee soaks into the diaper so that it's not sort of lying on top of the diaper and sitting on the baby's skin or touching the baby's skin. Yes, so that's um, how you can identify a diaper that is good. Um, a diaper that is good, again, when you open it, it doesn't just um, like flake off or open, the diaper sort of burst. A good diaper does not burst, so that's another thing to look out for. There are some diapers that even show a color change when they are wet, so that's also an advantage. You already know when it is wet, then you can change it um, for your baby. So, um, in essence, what we are saying is that diapers need to be changed frequently. When you change the diaper, you should put 
a barrier cream something to prevent the moisture or the poo from staying on the baby's skin so that your baby does not get a diaper rash i hope you have learned something and i hope that you are going to change your baby's diapers frequently we are here to take your comments and your questions if you have them we are more than happy to have them thank you see you next time bye bye